All right, welcome to Drawing with Matt. I'm going to show you how to add some lines so that we can interact with these balls. First, let's create our line prefab. So new empty game object, and let's add a line renderer to it and add some extra vertices, just so I'll show you, so we can smooth out the, the corners and the, the edges. Uh, let's create a new material, call it line. I'll make it a sprite material. And actually, no, let's keep it white. Add it to our line renderer. That's a chunky boy, so let's pull that down a bit. There we go. Let's make that a prefab. Okay, now we need to actually draw the line. So let's create a draw manager. Draw manager script. And let's drag that on there. Next, let's create a script for the actual line itself. That, and then let's open up Draw Manager. Okay, so we need a few references here. Let's grab first our camera reference. And then in Start, let's get a reference to it like that. Next, we'll need a reference to our line prefab that we just made. So there we go. Now, what we want to do first is we want to check for input dot uh, get mouse down and left pointer. And if we do, what we want to do is we want to spawn one of these line prefabs. So we'll say, and we actually need a reference to the spawned line that we're currently using. So let's say private line current line. That. Current line equals instantiates, send in our line prefab. Now here we need our mouse position. So let's grab that. We'll make it a vector two. So we'll say mouse pause and we'll say, uh, get our cam um, screen to world point and send in our input dot mouse position. So now let's use that as our position for where we're instantiating. And we'll say just our base, our base rotation. It really does not matter. Now, now that we've got our line, we want to append lines to this line as we drag. So uh, what we're actually going to need is a public const, and we'll make this a float, and this will be called resolution. Um, and let's set it to the 0 0.1 first. Resolution. So basically what this is, is uh, when we can draw the next point of the line, depending on how much distance it is. So if we have this to 0 0.1, it won't draw a new point until we pass at least 0.1 of a unity unit in distance. So the smaller you make this, the smoother your line's going to be. You can make this up to one and it will be like a really janky, janky looking line. So depending on what your art style is, that will also affect performance. Let's now check input get mouse button. So just if we if we're holding this mouse button, we want to tell our current line to add a new point. So let's go to our line script, and we'll need this function here. We'll say void set position, and we'll take in the new position that we want. So in here we'll need a reference to our line renderer like that and we first we want to say can we lay this point uh should we be, should we lay it is it past the resolution threshold and so on so let's create a new private function here return a bool and we'll say can append oops and we'll give it the position that we're trying to append to. So first, I want to ensure that if it's the very first point, just always say yes. So we'll say if renderer position count equals zero, well, in that case, return true. Otherwise, we want to see if this new point is beyond the threshold of the resolution. So return vector to distance. And we'll get our last position that we've laid down. 
So renderer position count minus one. And then the next position will be our new position. And if that is in fact more than our draw manager resolution, then we will return true. So we'll say here, if can append was, and we'll reverse it. So if we cannot append, return out of this function, because we do not want to set this new point. If we do, we'll go renderer position count, and we'll add an extra point to the array and then set position. And in here, we'll get our last point. So renderer position count minus one, and we'll set it to this new position. So now back in our draw manager, now that we've laid down our line, we now want to append to it. So while it's down, we'll grab our current line, set position, and we'll feed it the mouse position. Now that should actually be all we need to do this. So go across to Unity and let's add the line script to, uh, I'll just move my face Wee, over there. So now that we've got our line script here, add our line renderer to it. And just one thing to note, in this positions array, make sure it's set to zero on the prefab uh, because it will do some funny things if you've got a few points in here. Um, so now that we've got that line on there, on our draw manager, just put in our line prefab like that. Let's try, there we go. And on our line manager, I'll show you, we can actually add, change this up to one. And as you'll see, it will be a bit more janky like that. Could be good for what you're trying to do. Uh, for me, I will just keep it at 0.1. Now, that's all well and good, but our balls will just fall straight through it because there's no collider attached to it. So let's do that now. On our line, create a new child and call it collider and make it oh, edge collider 2D. All right, and as you'll see here, there's also an array of points that we can assign to it. So on our line scripts, let's get a new reference to that. Private edge collider 2D, like that. And now every time we set a point, we want to append to this, to the colliders points array. So let's do collider points equals and we need to set it basically to this renderer's uh, points. So renderer get positions. Actually, that's going to be annoying as that's a vector three position and this is not really the format that we want to do it in. So what we'll do is we'll create a list of vector twos and we'll call this points equals new vector two points. Now, every time we set a position, let's say we'll add our point to this list. And now we should just be able to easily do points to array. And that will just immediately set the points to the exact points. And we can actually make this a read only. All right. So now that we've done that, make sure you set your collider reference in your script. And if we do that, we should actually say, uh-huh. Okay. So it's offset a little bit. So the reason for that is this line is saying that it's pivot point is the very first point there. Whereas the collider itself is kind of like equalizing its entire transform and setting it to the very center. So what we want to do is we want to set the collider. We want to remove the collider's transform position. Um, we want to remove the lines transform position from the collider uh, transform position. So what we can do is we can say here, collider transform position minus equals transform position. So we're taking the transform position, the actual lines transform position off the collider's transform position. And that should actually do it. 
Yep, as you can see, it's right there. So we should now be able to draw some lines. Now, as you can see, the ball's kind of like slipping through it. So if you go to your line and onto your collider, let's actually set this offset, this Y offset to maybe something like, I don't know, is 0.5 gonna be absolutely way too much? Yeah, too much. Set it to like 0.3. Probably a little bit still too much, but you get the point. And there you have it. You've got a game where you can draw and have objects interact with it. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time.